Okay. I done made so many videos, y'all. Don't make no sense. Like, I just keep recording. I just, I keep recording. Like, I don't even know what we're doing at this point. But we about to have a traffic and chat while I go home. Because we about to talk about this motherfucking TikTok Kia Hyundai Challenge bullshit. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutch in me. I feel like it's do or die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. Okay, so first of all, I seen this on social media on the DL Healy page. First of all, y'all. Okay, so before I get into this video, let me go ahead and give y'all a disclaimer. I'm cussing, big cussing, heavy cussing, and I'm gonna get loud because this shit made me so mad. So if you don't like cussing, if you don't like all that foul language, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know now. You might as well go ahead and stop this video and move on. Cause I'm not gonna stop. It's happening. It happened. I was upset. So that's just that on that. I don't know. I absolutely despise social fucking media. I do not like social media. I'm gonna tell y'all how much I don't like social media and how much I'm not on social media. God rest his soul. I did not know that that baby takeoff passed away. I didn't know takeoff passed away until Natalie posted her video on Patreon talking about some real good shit. I hope she posted to YouTube. And I'm recording this on Friday, what, November 4th? <laughs> and that, I think Natalie uploaded the video last night. So the night of the 3rd. That's how late I am. Like, literally, as because it's getting posted today. So, this is happening today. It's Friday. Talking about some real good shit. A much-needed message for black folks that we need to hear. That's when I realized Takeoff had passed away. And Christian was at my house, and I was like, bro, Takeoff died? And she was like, yeah, he died, like, think Monday or Tuesday. I was like, are you serious? Am I, am I that out of tune with life? I am like I literally didn't know I didn't know about Kanye West until Bobby told me like I, I am not in the world I get on YouTube record for YouTube work and that's it the little time I do get on social media is to respond to messages and it take me forever to do that or I, I might post something TTM related whatever if I post I'm getting off it's literally a post and leave or I'll go to the DL Hughley page on the Earthquake page, and that's strictly because I need videos to react to. That's where I get my news from, but I don't do it that much, so I miss a lot of stuff. That's how I miss takeoffs passing. That is so sad. Lord have mercy. I'm not going to even get into that. But I have seen on DL Hughley page, and he's going to be the first to pop up on my timeline anyway, so it ain't even no need for me to scroll or nothing. About this goddamn, and I, I said something on Instagram, on my Instagram story when I saw it. The, the teenagers that were killed because apparently the Kia TikTok challenge or the Kia boys or whatever then got on TikTok and taught motherfuckers how to steal Kias and Hondas with a goddamn USB uh, port charger thing. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, finna let you in. Come on, finna let you in, finna let you in. First of all, I hate this Hyundai. I, I be clear, I did not want a Hyundai. I don't like Hyundai. I like Toyota. I like Honda. That's it. Kia, I would get a Kia before I get a fucking Hyundai. But I do not like Hyundai. I don't like it. I drive a motherfucking Hyundai too, son. Baby, you break up in this motherfucking still if you want to. You better not be in my motherfucking house when you do it. That's all I'm gonna say. You bad. Go ahead. You bad. Baby, let me tell you something. And it's a whole bunch of, like, so much commentary because people have different comments. Some people want to blame Kia and Hyundai. Some people want to blame social media. Some people want to blame TikTok. Some people blame the kids. It's like, I, them for them babies to have to die. And one of them was 14 years old and a mama at that? Nigga, is you serious right now? First of all, I... And this is my opinion. If you don't agree with it, I don't care. This is how I feel. Number one, I'm not blaming Hyundai. 
Do I feel like they need to upgrade their motherfucking vehicles? Hell yeah, because this bitch been breaking down since I bought it. I had a Honda Fit for six years and never took it to the shop. This car has been in the shop I don't know how many times. My motherfucking back windows don't roll down. It's all kind of shit. You bust and break into this motherfucker if you want to. Ain't shit in here but a hope and a dream. So you better be goddamn sure what you do. This car has cost me so much motherfucking money. Hyundai's are built like shit. I don't drive no Kia, so I can't speak for Kia. I had a Kia back in, in college, but I totaled that motherfucker, so I only had it for about two months. Christian drives a Kia Soul. I wanted a Kia Soul. Hell, it's a Kia Soul in front of me. But the one thing that did bother me, which is how it's easier for them to steal them, is the key shit. I got used to push to start. That key shit. I had to get used to using my key again. I used to put my motherfucking finger thing. I had to pull out my keys and shit. Because when I got a lot of shit in my hand, I have to I pull my keys out before I get out the store, before I go outside. I don't like fumbling with no keys. Versus my old car, as long as my key was on me, I could get in the car and start it. So... That's the only thing I got to buy him Hyundai for. Y'all cars is fucking garbage. And the only reason why I got it is because it was all they had left that I could afford at the time. Because it's a car shortage right now. Or it was then, it still is. But it was real bad back when I was buying my shit. So I got stuck with this raggedy motherfucker. But I'm not finna blame Kia and Hyundai. Because Kia and Hyundai didn't get on social media and teach motherfuckers how to steal cars. I hate social media. It's it's a gift and it's a curse, but it's more so a curse. And it's like my blame is not on TikTok. I fucking hate TikTok. This is why I ain't getting no damn TikTok. Everybody keep telling me I'm ready to get a TikTok. Nigga, for what? I don't even get on Instagram or Facebook. How the fuck I, in the hell did I miss that takeoff passed away? That shows you how much I am not of this world. How did I miss that? I love them. <laughs> like, I'm so mad at myself. I'm like, how did I not? Nobody thought to tell me take off past the way. Because we automatically assume it's like, damn, you ain't know. It's all over social media. I don't do social media. My kids will not be on social media. I'm not putting the blame on TikTok or social media. I am, but I'm not. I feel like the blame should be equally distributed. For one, the blame gotta go on them badass goddamn kids. What the fuck y'all doing? And yes, I'm cussing because I'm mad as hell. What are y'all doing? Huh? What is what are you what are y'all doing? Stop that shit. This generation is being influenced by the wrong shit. And therefore, furthermore, I'm not going to put the blame on the kids. I'm going to put it on their goddamn parents. Because what are you doing that you are allowing some damn Kia, Kia boys to influence your child in such a way? And whoever the Kia boys are, because I've seen the little video of them showing them how to break into the motherfucking... And then... Then not to mention, matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to cut the clip out and I'm going to put it in this video. Not to mention, the clip I saw, because I had to go to YouTube since I don't have a TikTok. And I seen the little, they had the news video, but then it shows the, the video of them actually showing the dude how he broke it, how to break in tight wire out of the goddamn car. The dude who asked was white. He was white. He was white. It was a motherfucking setup. Do y'all not understand? Y'all covered y'all face. Baby, if I could see this, if I could see this, that's all the police need. You can cover your face up all the fuck you want. That don't matter. Why are you on here doing this shit? So now people losing their motherfucking cars left and right. Shit that they done fucking worked hard for. And one of my babies, okay, because y'all know I work with youth. That's why I feel like I can talk shit because I'm actually out, and that's a whole nother fucking video that be pissing me the fuck off. It be shit like this that makes me mad that don't nobody want to do shit for these goddamn kids. I got I got a child in TTM because my child, a lot of a lot of my kids be on probation and shit. 
charges of aggravated robbery from stealing fucking cars. First of all, the blame don't all the all the way go on social media because baby, when I tell teenagers and motherfucking criminals been hot wiring stealing cars for a long fucking time. That shit didn't just happen. So I can't put the blame on TikTok. Where I put the blame on TikTok is the fact that y'all should have took that motherfucking video down. How is it that I can't post shit without it getting restricted? It's harassment, it's bullying, it's this, it's that. I ain't hurting nobody, I ain't doing nothing, I ain't committing no crimes. How is it that the small shit get restricted, get taken down? People get their pages taken. Over some little stu stu stupid shit. But when motherfucking mass shooters put on social media, they gonna shoot up a school or something of the sort. Or motherfuckers put on there how to steal a goddamn Kia or Hyundai. Y'all don't take that shit down. Now granted, you can go on YouTube, Google anywhere and figure out how to steal a fucking car. It don't matter. If you wanna steal that bitch, you gonna find a way. YouTube University. But... These kids were not thinking about stealing cars until they saw it as a fucking trend. That's when the shit escalated. Because if you gonna really, if you gonna really be down for the call, like I said, my kids, one of them got charges for aggravated fucking robbery, for stealing cars. That nigga was stealing cars before a fucking challenge on social media. He was stealing cars because that's the shit he was in. And key word, I said was. And half that shit be because they hang around the wrong fucking people. But let me tell you something. When he got in my shit, you gonna be around me in my organization? You better not steal a motherfucking pen because I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass. What, the, what is wrong with you? This is what we not gonna do. That's why it makes me sick. It makes me so goddamn sick. <laughs> to see this shit because it's like er, now everybody now don't get me wrong because a lot of kids have good parents and they them parents and they just tired er, the teenagers baby everybody different everybody situation different you can't put a hundred percent blame on parents because I have I have parents in my organization of these kids where. They are literally good parents that are doing everything they possibly can and the kid just wilding out. It's life circumstances and shit. It's so much to it. But the thing is, don't sit here and complain about what the youth is doing if you ain't trying to help them. They out here doing dumb shit because they don't have no guidance. They don't have nobody trying to help them. You can't help all of them, but God damn it, can you at least try? No, they did. Because wasn't nobody paying attention. Y'all didn't see the red signs? Why people don't fucking raise their kids like we used to? I ain't had no cell phone, no social media. Baby, let me tell you something. Lord, when, my, when I get a child, when I have a child, I mark my words now. My child will not be on social media. My child will not have a phone. You not allowed to have a phone. I got my first phone when I was 14. You gonna get a, a phone when you maybe sixth grade, and that's for emergencies. And it's gonna be the basic motherfucker. I'm gonna go find the oldest motherfucking phone I can possibly find, and I'm gonna get that to you. You ain't getting no social media. And when you do finally get on social media, when I feel like it's all right for you to get on there, I'm monitoring it. Don't play with me. I know every trick in the motherfucking book. You can't pull shit over on me. I was out in the streets. I was hoeing, sneaking, everything. My kid would not be influenced by that bullshit. My cousin. My little cousin is about to be 17 years old. She ain't never been on social media. She does not have social media. So it's possible. I'm not, I'm no, no, you ain't getting no phone. A phone is a motherfucking privilege. Where I come from, a phone is a privilege. And I understand we in new times now. Like, we don't raise our kids the same way no more. Shit different. This generation is different. But I don't give a damn. I'm going back to the old school days. I'm going to raise my child the way my mom raised me. Period. And I don't give a shit what nobody got to say about it. 
because it's not even it's it's like bro these kids don't they don't they don't have no guidance they just dumb as hell they dumb as hell like like i said the blame everybody's to blame for me the mother the dumb ass teenagers that was driving that bitch that decided to steal it i'm sorry rest in peace i i don't I, i'm real sad that they died that's fucked up that that's not and that baby was a mama she was a 14 year old but she had a kid but that don't mean you any less stupid baby i'm sorry it was just that it was your time you stupid you shouldn't have did that shit now we got all these families mourning because you and y'all just got in the car with him y'all just went on a joy ride and shit my kid ain't going nowhere with nobody ain't getting in nobody's car i used to think my mama was fucking tripping when she told me i couldn't go no to nobody's house i couldn't go nowhere i couldn't do shit but now as i get older i understand why she did that shit my child ain't getting in nobody's motherfucking car. I drop you off. She not getting no it ain't getting in no car. I don't know them. I don't know how they drive. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to be no boot camp ass mama. But at the same time, I'm going back to the long, 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 long time ago days. <laughs> Where you used to whoop motherfuckers. And then shit was a privilege. I'm not no. No, no. This new generation needs some more guidance. Y'all, please, or they gonna all end up in jail. They gonna all end up on probation. They gonna end up being criminalized. You can't help all of them. Don't get me wrong, because some of them motherfuckers just wired wrong. Because I done had a couple of them I had to, like, that left TTM and shit. They on felon charges right now. You can't help everybody. I had already made my peace with that shit when I started the church movement because it hurt me because I kept trying to save all these kids. And it's like, you can't help everybody, bro. Some people, you they just too far gone. All you can do is pray for them at that point. But if you can, do as much as you can. You need to at least know that I, I, I do it to where it's like, okay, I at least need to know I did as much as I possibly could. I did everything I could. As long as I know I did that, I'm fine. The blame goes to everybody. It go to social media. It go to TikTok because y'all should have took that shit down. Y'all should have took that shit down. Immediately. Took it down. Like y'all do everything the fuck else. And I don't know how TikTok operate. But I'm pretty sure it ain't no different from Instagram or Facebook. You have the power to take it down. Y'all flag everything the fuck else. <laughs> the fuck? But y'all kept this shit up? Are you kidding me? So yes, I blame y'all. A little blame go to Honda and Kia because y'all got some raggedy fucking cars. Then talking about they selling security packs at the Hyundai dealerships for $170. Who finna pay $170 for a motherfucking security pack? Bitch, give me that shit for free. It's so many recalls on this motherfucker. First of all, I don't even want this bitch. So I'm already finna come in here and figure out how the fuck I can get rid of it. Because y'all got recalls on my shit. My accelerator bad. My life is on the line. I got problems. Y'all got some raggedy motherfucking cars. Period. I didn't want this shit. And my uncle said it too. He said, don't get no Hyundai. Don't get no Hyundai. And I was like, well, I mean, people who had one said it was good. Like, I don't like them because I like Honda and Toyota. But I still was like, mm, it's here. I've been looking for a long time. It's in my budget. Because I ain't had no money to buy no, no fucking car. I was almost done. I had to start all the way over. So I settled for this shit. And it get me from point A to point B. It's not a bad fucking car. It's not a bad car. It's just not Honda Toyota caliber. So that's y'all fault. Parents, y'all get some blame too. Watch your kids. Watch what they watching. Take that motherfucking phone, PS4, all that shit, everything. Whatever you got that got internet, Wi-Fi, anything on it. I don't give a fuck unless it's a goddamn three. One of them numbers. Y'all remember them old phones where it had like, like literally you can probably call like three, four numbers on speed dial. Uh, that's what you're getting. So you can call me in case of emergency. I'm going to teach y'all to work a beeper. Like, I'm a dead ass. I hate that bad. But, no, I'm going to be over your... What you watching? 
And I wish you would have a password on my phone. Because I guarantee you, I'm the one paying for it. If you pay for it, I still don't give a damn. You in my house. So therefore, you're going to unlock that shit. Let me say. And if you do feel like you want to go do some stupid shit, make sure you tell me first so I can tell you what's going to happen when you go do some stupid shit. I work with kids on a regular that do stupid shit. And then I got to put the blame on the community. And again, that's another video. But I'm going to end it with that. And all I'm going to simply say is don't say shit if you ain't trying to help. If you just going to talk shit about the parents and the kids and how they get in trouble and how they do this. What are you doing about it? And on the flip side. For those of y'all who keep screaming, we got to get our kids out the system. The juvenile system is horrible. And the da 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 Y'all doing all this shit. What are you doing about it? Are you making change? Are you trying to help these kids? It don't make no goddamn sense that I live in one of the biggest fucking cities in the country. I went to two colleges and know a shit ton of black men. And I can't find no male mentors for TTM. Not one. I got two. My mentee, one of them is a boy because I can't find male mentors. Why? So don't don't complain to me about our black kids if you ain't going to do shit. If you ain't going to make change, don't talk about the change that needs to be made. Hush. You ain't got no dog in this fight. At least... If you're not going to do that, support the organizations that are. I'm asking people for shoes. You ain't got to spend no money. You ain't got one pair of shoes, bro. I'm asking for shoes so that I can take these kids somewhere. This shit ain't for me. I'm not eating off this. Look at my hands. <laughs> I'm stressed. I'm not eating off no nonprofit. I'm trying to do stuff for the kids. So shut the fuck up. If you're not going to support the cause or be for the cause, you can't talk about the cause. You don't have a dog in this fight. Be quiet. This is exactly why I don't get on social media. It's exactly why I don't look in comments because people are dumb as fuck and the shit that they say, it's like, bitches, you serious right now? But if I click on your fucking page, you ain't doing shit productive. Fuck out my goddamn face, man. That shit pissed me off. Why was so... Now them babies had to lose their life because they made a dumb ass decision. Because nobody told them not to make that dumb ass decision. And even if somebody did and they did it anyway. You tried. They fucked up. And what happened is fucked up. Them dumb ass niggas that's on TikTok teaching that shit. All I'm going to say is. You're going to get what's coming to you. Them the type of motherfuckers I said. Sometimes it's too late. Y'all think that shit cool? That's what kills me, boy. You young motherfuckers. Y'all think y'all hard, huh? You think that shit cool. That shit cool for the, for the gram, for the social media and shit, huh? Until they put your ass in gym pop and charge you with motherfucking adult ass felonies and then you somebody's bitch. And it ain't funny no more. It ain't fun no more. When people start losing their lives and shit. The motherfucking Kia boys. If y'all don't get y'all asses, you know what? Baby, we was we was listening to Soldier Boy and doing dumb ass dances when I was a kid. I can't get with this new shit. I uh mm -mm, I'm staying off social media. This is why I stay off social media. I I need to do better with my news though, cause that I, that I'm wrong for that. I cannot believe what happened with takeoff, and I'm not even going. I'm not going to touch that. Natalie already did. Like I said, hope she posted it on YouTube. At most, I'd probably just piggyback off what she said because she said a mouthful. She said everything I was thinking, baby. That's all I need. Um, Y'all know I got to watch because clearly I wouldn't want nobody stealing my Hyundai. 
you steal that motherfucker from this spot, you gon' you gonna have some serious issues. Cause uh somebody always watching this motherfucker, I guarantee you. And we stay strapped. So I was pissed off about that shit. My bad for yelling and cussing, but when I'm passionate about something, it happened. And I don't care. <laughs> like I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. And I'm probably gonna post this right now. Like, I got so many videos. I'm finna just start posting them. I don't give a fuck about no schedule no more. If I gotta post every day, I'm just gonna post every day. I don't care. And I'm recording for Vlogmas because that shit coming too. So, until the next video, whatever the video gonna be, I don't know. Because lately, I've just been picking up the motherfucking camera and just recording shit. So, I ain't even, I ain't, I ain't got no structure right now. But I will see y'all in that one. Take care of yourselves. Bye.